Hey guys, it's Gary Dean. I'm in Chesapeake, Virginia today. I just made the thousand mile trip from Tampa, Florida up to my mom's house. And I wanna show you guys how I remove love bugs and other random bugs from the truck. A couple bugs from the uh, trip, some splatter. People ask me all the time how to safely do a rinse list to remove all these bugs. And so I figured this is an opportunity that I could uh, take to show you guys how I would go about removing all this bug splatter after a long road trip. Now, I can tell you that this is nothing compared to how it usually is when I take a trip this long, but definitely is some bugs on there. I got a half a gallon of water in the bucket and I will generally take the infinite purpose cleaner and spray the bad bugs. Those are the ones that really need the help of the cleaner. Just give them a quick spritz of IPC. Now remember, a cleaner as strong as IPC is definitely going to strip off your protection. So, you'll find that when I'm done with this situation, I will reapply some juice boost, which I have here. So anyway, I did a pre-soak with IPC on just the heavy bugs, the big splatters. You know, the, the big areas. Okay, that's gonna break those down. It doesn't need a lot of dwell time. But what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of infinite use detail juice. Nah, I'm wasting more than I'm using. But that's probably all it'll take is about a half, so like one eighth of an ounce. in the water. I'm going to put you on the tripod and uh, you can see how I handle this business. Alright, so what I need you guys to understand is I do this first. So before I would wash my vehicle after a road trip to remove the bugs, I'll remove the bugs first. Um, and I do that because I don't want all that bug gut debris in my wash bucket. So I put a little bit of water in the bucket, put some infinite use detail juice in there. I pre-soaked the, the heavy bug area with infinite purpose cleaner. Now I'll go into just my standard pre-soak with infinite use detail juice on the front end. This is gonna break up the minor stuff that the IPC didn't get to touch. Give it a good, dousing of uh, infinite use detail juice. Now, I'll put the uh, clean towel in the bucket. And the way I like to do bugs, I soak that towel, and I'll just use one towel for this. I won't use multiple towels for the bugs. I start from top to bottom with a soaked towel in the infinite use detail juice solution and I'll just mas gently massage all the bugs off with this solution. And if I feel like the towel is getting too saturated, I'll go ahead and just dunk it right back in that same solution. I do not use multiple towels for this portion of the detail. Again, I'm just concerned about removing the bugs so that they don't potentially etch into my clear coat. Uh, as I've told you before, the corner of a microfiber towel is by far my favorite brush. Now I'm starting to lose lubricity in this towel, so it's time to dunk it back in there and remove the bugs from the towel. Still leave it pretty soaked and just massage all these bugs off. In the nooks and crannies with the corner of the towel. Get 
with your lenses really good. It's important to keep your headlights as clean as possible at all times to ensure that you're doing everything you can to resist the, uh, the yellowing. And there we go. That's it. After you've got all your bug debris off, Give it a quick wipe one more time. Step back and take a look, make sure all your bugs are off. I'm telling you, this is the most efficient way I've found to remove bug guts with a rinseless method. Pre-soak like you would with the uh, Gary Dean wash method, then go in with a soaked towel about a half a gallon of water and there's probably 32 ounces left after I just doused the front end. Then you take the, the brand new Gary Dean wash method waffle weave towel and dry off all the area. Now I can tell you, I'm not gonna bother cleaning this truck. Uh, I probably won't even bother cleaning it while I'm here. I just am concerned about the bugs. Uh, I'll be here for about a week and as long as I get these bugs off I'm I'm happy with the cleanliness of the rest of the truck I hit a little bit of rain but not much but I just don't want these bugs to etch into the paint and damage the paint that's my main concern so this is how I like to remove bugs from the front of my vehicle whether or not I'm going to wash. Doesn't matter. As long as you're getting those bugs off and it's safe like this, that's what's important. Just get those bugs off your paint. Don't let them sit there. A lot of bugs are acidic and they'll cause you a lot of problems. Especially if you're in an area where you get love bugs. Those little devils are nasty. So, there you have it. That's how I clean bugs off the front of my vehicle. The final step in this operation, since I used Infinite Purpose Cleaner on a couple of spots now, I used a really light dilution of IPC um, to remove the bugs because it didn't need a lot. But when you use a cleaner on your paint, it's going to remove some of the protection. So you always want to try to top that off when you can. So I've got a clean towel. I've got juice boost, which if you guys have seen my other videos, this is amazing by itself. It was designed to be mixed in with the infinite use detail juice solution for the Gary Dean wash method. So you're sealing while you're washing, but you can also use it direct to paint. And what I mean by that is literally, Spray it on and wipe it in and you're all done. Get all your, your major areas. Make sure everything is protected again. Hit those headlights to add even more protection. Now you probably saw the first part of this video where I put a whole big coat, a big thick nice coat of Vitality Shield on the whole front end before I left for this trip. Juice Boost maintains the thickness of the polymers in Vitality Shield if you're gonna use that system. Now, I can tell you that most of the time, all I use is Juice Boost. It's a very strong polymer formula that does an amazing job on its own, but if you want the maximum protection, lay a coat of Vitality Shield down and then just maintain with the juice boost on a monthly or bi-monthly basis. I mean, hell, you can use it every time you wash your car. It's not gonna hurt anything. In fact, you're always adding protection because this is a water-based formula. There's no solvent involved that would take any of this off. So when you let this cure for 45 minutes to an hour, you could put another coat on and you're actually adding thickness to it. I kind of feel like layering is a waste, especially if you're maintaining your car like you should be. And you can do it if you want, but 
for me, it's really just a waste. I just want to make sure that I don't have any damage from bugs when I get back home to Tampa next week. So that is how I clean bugs off the front of my vehicle, especially when I take a road trip. You can do the same situation for around town. If you guys got any questions, 813-846-4406 is my cell phone number. I can't help you if you don't use it. I appreciate you guys for watching these videos. If you got any questions about this or anything else detailing related, I'm available. Thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful day.